Anin Buju, band members, today is August 3rd, Tuesday. The COVID updates, Aiken County yesterday, 1,402. Today, 1,403. Crow Wing, yesterday, 6,932. Today, 6,940. Mille Lacs, yesterday, 3,168. And today, 3,172. Pine County yesterday, 3,383, and today, 3,390, and they are still increasing. A little fun news, the Corporate Ventures is excited to bring back the annual family golf outing, and that is scheduled for Saturday, September 18th, beginning at 9 a.m. at the Grand National Golf. Each player will receive a sleeve of balls a cool Mille Lacs Corporate Venture swag, some donuts and some coupons for food at Grand Casino Hinkley. If your team gets one of the top three places or wins a door prize drawing, you'll win gaming devices, backpacks with school supplies and other prizes. Registration is free and limited to the first 36 teams. Teams must include two adults and two youth players age 17 or younger. And there is a registration form and to email that to bgruber at mlcv.com. There is a firearm safety training with the Mille Lacs Tribal Police and DNR Enforcement. And that will be on September 18th, District 3. And if you have any questions, you can please contact Jason Rice at 532-7540. The Mille Lacs Band Health and Human Services CSS Department is building a new program to support our community members who are elders or individuals living with chronic illness or disabilities to stay home and live independently. We need to hear from you and we want to know what is needed and what matters to you and your loved ones. There is a link to the survey on Facebook. Three grand prize winners will receive a $100 Visa card gift. And the drawing is on 816, so that's August 16th. There are many good workshops being conducted here at the NICOA Annual Conference. One of the topics was with the Assistant Secretary on aging and talked about what kinds of um, opportunities are available for tribes under Title VI and Title III. And for the Mille Lacs Band under Title VI is where we operate our nutrition elder program. And um, so now we have the opportunity to see what else is there in that area of Title VI that we can support and benefit our elders. Another topic that the Assistant Secretary on Aging talked about is that they will partner with the Department of Justice and they want to be able to have a good program for any of the elders that may need additional Department of Justice types of services. So I'm looking forward to that, to see what that is all about and if we can incorporate it here at Mille Lacs. Today, they talked about veterans and what kind of support services there are for veterans. So each one of these sessions that we go to, we bring the information back to the band to see how we can incorporate that, or if we currently have that type of service, if we can enhance it and make our programs better. Today here, it's supposed to be 100 degrees, so it's getting warm. And again, um, talked a little bit about the Canadian forest fires, and please uh, make sure that our children and our elders and our loved ones are being addressed if they're having those issues. So with that, I would like to say good day and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.